No audio. Are you talking? I'm talking. Hello. Hi. Howdy. I uh, I don't even remember what I said. I said something. It wasn't important. I said something and then instantly said, oh, shit, my mic's not working. Hold on. <laughs> but now we're here. Hello. Hi, Nate. Hi, Noodle. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are having fun. Hello to the Yub Tubs and stuff. Playing more Final Fantasy 16. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. We have, what, two side quests? Is that it for the whole world? I'm guessing that's going to be it. Yeah. For the time being, at least. All right. Where are you? Opportunity beckons. Who among you is... Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. I'm listening. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade. That an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. Is that a hide you want to sell? One of the things that we yes. Though, killed before for the might be crafted into side quest the with the whatchamacallit? With the, the smith? Skin is a I can't remember. But the Just skip all the side quests. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Don't get me wrong, they suck, but I will share with you the bounty of our other than doing any whatchamacallit, DLC that comes out for the game, I'm probably never going to play this game again. So, like, I just want to get everything out of the way now. <laughs> just, just do it all now so I don't have to worry about coming back to it and trying to do any of it later. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the east west, Tovani, okay. You are Tovani. A stone throw from the Gotta get to Tovani. I eagerly await your safe and above all triumphant return. Yeah, the only thing that's even a little bit tempting to like do in the game after having played through most of it is uh some of the hunts I think would be fine on like hard mode. But outside of that, like, there's nothing that interests me to come back to in the game. Uh, so you are over there. But there's something new at the shops? Probably nothing yeah. important. Take a Most look likely orchestron rolls. Yeah. I mean, we do have 70 grand. We might as well Fine buy choice. it. And nothing here to Take care, care about. Okay. Bye. 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 Fleshed a hundred skins today. Have you? Maybe you did flesh a hundred skins. Oh shit. I didn't mean to trigger whatever this is. Child murder? That's my favorite part. <laughs> Cyril. How fair is the search? Well, your grace. My report shall be with you ere uh, long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. <laughs> I am Cyril, I'm on all the lists. <laughs> bearer of the burning quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. We we know who I he is. Trusted Cyril here with overseeing like, <laughs> the investigation into You don't have to explain origins. who our brother is Findings to us. From his we know. Sisters of field are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our son, 
and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. These guys are a little creepy, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> they seem super loyal and all, which is nice, but... Hey, we got a phoenix down as our seal. Order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. It's a canva there. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> it must have been nice having a cult follow you around everywhere. Cyril seemed very, um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Where's this other quest? So it's up there? How do we get... How do we up? No. Probably the stairs, dumbass. <laughs> Usually a decent place to check when you want to go up. Just throwing that out there. Ooh, there's a ladder. Uh, hold on. What's at the top of the Careful ladder, though? Any creases or scratches will bring down the price. Hello, you... old man. Finally. No one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. I don't know if I believe this in old man. Heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded. <laughs> the fuck do we need this for? What is the point of this quest? This Run literally stairs, feels like Pat and... and memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. The three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. In what way? I can't How are they different? I remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. Like, everybody we've met so far seems like pretty normal dudes, you know? Like, how are they... How are they different? I mean, I'm all for a little bit of lore, though. But that was a long-winded way to say, Hey, go find some lore about this place, dude. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give her praise, and give praise her gracious hand. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> I swear, I've been having, like, one long stroke all day today, man. I can't. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. There we go. Okay. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. Ooh, a chest. Don't mind if I do. Just steal your magic dash real quick. You must be Lord Rosfield. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my lord. I, too, am a member of the cause, though I spend most of my time hunting. For the good of the village, you understand. The soil is poor here, so the people sup mostly on meat and blood. The hides, meanwhile, they make into leather and then into gill. 
Cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. What is this? Wonders of the Golden Plains lay your roots in stone. With pride recall they noble past and make these rocks a home. What Golden Plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Bill had missed that. Mummy made the pottage from it. Sounds delicious. Perhaps you'll invite me around to try it next time. That's cute. Um. Have you noticed the elder? Nope. Haven't noticed. Mm. Not a scratch on them. You wouldn't happen to have a decent whetstone in there, would you, madam? I'm sure I can find. Nothing it. here. Nope. And away we go. Is it really gonna be like one chest in this whole town? Oh nope. There we go. Right on cue. Two goblin coins? That'll fetch a pretty penny or two. Why won't the sky go back to how it was? We got Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. So, no history would be complete without mention of the mother crystals. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. Were the people of Tabor like once some sort of noble class you? to care for the crystal? Maybe? The engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, oh, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Uh, what did it say? <laughs> Bruh, I want to lie to this dude so bad. Ah, Bo looks cute though. I think that's a good look for Bo. You don't like it? I think it's a cute look. But, <laughs> like, Guardians of the Republic is dumb. But the great good Moogle Guardians. <laughs> I want to fuck with the guys so much, man. But no. We're going to tell them the truth. Guardians of the Crystal. The first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood. Till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting uh, the Mother Crystals. Uh, they're fallen, of but course. No, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder. Uh, the engraving to the north is next, I think. Voyagers of the Ashen Ocean? That sounds cool. Riders of the Snowy Slopes? Voyagers, man, I, <laughs> I do want to lie to this guy so bad. I, I should have saved and then just fucked with him. Like, stone. with pride, recall thy noble past, and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor. Its guardian roots could never account for. <laughs> the fuck? This is <laughs> Jesus Christ, most dude. enlightening. Now. For the final stone. Children of the hunters now sworn to serve the sun. Children of the hunters now tillers of the land. That's the one. Children of the hunters now dancing hand in hand. Okay. Children of the hunters now tillers of the land. Reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples. The final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings. One for each of the three No, no, no. It's crack when you wake up. In ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, It's meth before bed. from across the plains. And last, but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars. 
given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here, and thank you. I don't know, maybe this place is just, like, ignored by most of the scholars? It doesn't seem like it gets too much attention. This little town out in the middle of the desert, like... Reminds you of the old neighborhood crackhead that likes telling stories? I gotta admit, I don't spend too much time oh, talking to neighborhood crackheads. I, I didn't realize, man. My bad. <laughs> Soft as Phoenix down, but tough as boiled That's like my Spanish font. That's totally... <laughs> oh, Rue. That's all right. I got to start studies myself here soon, so that'll be fun. You'll never guess for what. Anything cool in here? Come on, can you blame me? Not really, dude. I, I've been slacking on Japanese studies for so long now. I can't blame you at all. Like, what are you studying? Oh, what you doing? <laughs> I I have to study for some uh, certifications. You can guess what kind. <laughs> there's a few different ones, to be honest, but like, there's one specifically. That I need to uh, really study for. I don't know when I'm going to be able to take the test for it though. Like for the actual certification. Because uh, it's not cheap. <laughs> it's not sure cheap right at all. The forklift? Not a forklift certification. Nope. I'm already work certified for the forklift. Thanks for money. You're welcome, Room. Is there anything over here? Like, I mean, I see those, like, few creatures over there. But is that it? Is it dead over here otherwise? Oh, they're a hunt, of course. Your manager's son is doing that too and his job is paying for it? Wait, what kind of certification? Probably can't pick these guys up, can I? Nope. Oh, certification for the forklift at work doesn't need, like, redone. <laughs> I mean, technically, you have to, like, re-sign off on it once a month or whatever, but it's... Uh, or not once a month, once every couple of years, but you don't have to, like, retest or anything, though. Oh, nice. Okay. Noodle. To be fair to Nate, he's probably never heard of, like, the certification, so, like, <laughs> I don't think it's going to, uh, <laughs> I don't think Nate's ever going to guess it. Rue probably could, though. Get fucked, Wolf. <laughs> works for Layton works, really. I wonder, maybe they have a program like... Like, uh, my work has, where you can get different certifications and... Or classes, at least, for certifications and... College studies and stuff like that for free, if you want to. As long as you're, like, working there. Is it to do, is it to do with computer stuff? Vaguely, yes. How far up can we go? Is this it? I'm guessing this is it. Yeah. No vertical exploration for us.
Oh shit, <laughs> this is the shield. I was trying to see if I could like teleport uh, teleport over there. Obviously not meant to, but you know. One to try. Just to fuck around. Microsoft Office certification? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not Office certification. <laughs> oh man. It's wild to me that that is a certification though, to be honest. Like... I mean, I guess if you're going for, like, a secretary job or maybe, like, some sort of data entry job or something like that, maybe it'd be useful. But, like, bruh, <laughs> certification just to say, hey, I know how to use Word and PowerPoint, like, or Excel is wild. I'm sure there's a little bit more to it than that, honestly. <laughs> like, I know what it is. Pick me. That's cheating. <laughs> CompTIA. CompTIA is popular. Um, they, I have looked at some of their certifications, I'll say that. But it's not the one that I'm specifically going to start studying for here shortly. <sighs> I probably will attempt to get some CompTIA certifications in the meantime, though, because they're cheaper and easier to get than the one that I'm looking at. I doubt Noodle remembers the exact name of the one I'm getting, or trying, going to try to get at some point. <laughs> Wait, is this open now? No, okay, it's still closed. Yeah, it is. Or, again, vaguely, at least, yeah. Because I don't know, like, exact position or anything crazy that I'm going for yet, right? I just have some ideas for things that I want to do and I'm working toward. You don't, you just know what I'm doing it for. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> so I didn't expect you to actually remember, remember. Said Rue may have heard of it, but I, they're the only ones here I would expect to possibly have heard of it before. And I don't know for sure if they would have even. Yeah, we fought so many of these Avis things before, dude. How do we not have, like, any hides from them? I call bullshit. But it looks like there's still plenty of fight in it yet. bastard. Here. Just limit break. I just want the dude to die. Not worried about dodging. <laughs> nope. Not that one. Are you just googling them at this point, Nate? I feel like you're just googling them at this point. <laughs> oh. Because how many people have heard of GIAC Info Security Fundamentals? Like, <laughs> CompTIA is pretty well known, so that one, to hear that thrown out, is not uh, too surprising, but... <laughs> oh. This thing reeks. The sooner it's off my hands, the better. How many bloody hides have we collected? You're complaining about one reeking now? Did a little Google. You actually knew CompTIA. Yeah, like I said, CompTIA is pretty well known, so I'm not surprised. Whenever you threw that name out there, that, yeah. Oh, really? Which, uh, which one? Because CompTIA has, like, a million different certifications you can get. Quickly, let me see it. Oh, 
supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Are you sure? Join me. As I sliced it up with a blade. <laughs> my means and Many might. times. Punched the shit out of it a couple of times. Put it in a tornado. Like, <laughs> I think that hide's pretty wrecked at this point, to be honest. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in had it since you were teen, it's probably super out of date. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. That's, I'm hoping the uh, study materials that I get for the one I'm actually working towards eventually, like the end goal one, uh, aren't too out of date, because, yeah. How much is the GIAC one? I haven't looked at that one specifically, to be honest with you. Did you see how much the certification test was for it? Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pricey, dude. Yeah, now this one is expensive. It's not that expensive, though. And surprisingly, to be honest with you, I haven't heard of that one before. Just to be honest, like... Orc. Goodbye, Orc. Hmm. No, sir. <laughs> and you really want to know the cer certification, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. There's actually two different ones that I'm looking at at the moment. Um, one more so than the other, though. Like, <sighs> honestly, thought Rue would have been guessing more. Rue's probably paying like Mass Effect or something right now, if we're being honest. Like. <laughs> Rue's been sucked into Mass Effect for a while. Or maybe they're finally catching up on their Spanish studies. Which, we shouldn't pull them away from if that's the case. You gave me a guessing game. <laughs> oh god. I'll give you a hint, I guess. Two of the letters from the one you just sent are correct. Not necessarily in the correct positions or anything, but two of the letters are shared with the one I'm going for. Do I have a cheese preference? Probably cheddar. I'm assuming you're asking of the two I bought, the Monterey Jack and the, <laughs> and the cheddar. I mean, if cottage is, a, is an option, I am a big fan of cottage cheese. But if you're packing lunches, that's a little bit harder to, you know, put in the lunch. Yeah, chatter, love. What do you want? Chatter! <laughs> if it's four lunches, chatter. God, you don't gotta yell. So rude. Nope. No, sir. Honestly, kind of surprised you haven't gotten it yet, to be honest with you. Can I get up here, please? There we go. And they did.
There was no other like hunts or anything we were looking for, right? I don't think so. But my memory's so pissed poor, I can't remember for sure. Oh, well, we got one of them at least. Come here. Why? Why you know come up here? Okay, well, <laughs> I don't think I ever even hit that thing. Closer, but nope. Nothing? No? Okay. Is the city fallen? Farther. Colder. However you want to put it. Still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Dun dun dun. Well, now I feel like you're just asking for too many hints, my guy. Yes. <laughs> though both of the certifications that i'm looking at getting are in one way or another security related though in completely different ways <laughs> one of them i'm looking at longer term one would probably be shorter term but what's happened i can't the gate hello you if we're going to do this we'll need Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly bad. I love how we saw like Canver Many up in smoke and we were just like, nope, fuck off. Screw you in that. There's side quests. Let's go. Bruh, we're garbage. Under the protection of the fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges, which means it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. That's the not the, the hideaway? Really? A long time ago. But when the no, men sir. moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to encourage them to look elsewhere. Good you guesses, help, though. At this point, you're just uh, feeding me info on different certifications I could try and get. <laughs> I'm just going to have to save like a log Could've of this chat and go back through Excellent. and look at a few of these, man. You're doing all my Google searching you for me. It's great. For the transportation of our guests, as we discussed. Of course, leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish, residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. I mean, it's really cool to know that they're like setting we'll up a town for these bearers to live in and left. things like that, but like. The man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. 
Did we I'm need... Sure you won't need it. A whole quest for it? This actually seems like it'll probably be one of the better quests, though. Actually doing quick reads now that it's narrowed down to security. Fair. So whenever I need some info, what you're saying is I can just come and ask you and, uh... <laughs> There you go, my guy. C-I-S-S-P. It's this way. Yes, C-I-S-S-P is the one that I'm actually planning on studying for here real soon. Um, don't know when I'll actually be able to take the test because she pricey. $750 per try. And apparently only 20% of applicants actually succeed from what I was reading. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll see when. Um, but yeah, that's like, that's that's a goal though. Is to get CISSP certification. That's what I'm getting like the study materials for here soon and whatnot to start learning all the crap. <laughs> Now, like I said, there is another one, though, somewhat related to security, but not CISSP. Chronolith detected. Okay, but how do we get down there? I can't jump down there. Bro, this landscape sucks ass. Guess when we have to come from here, yeah. Son of a bitch, dude. And then run all the way through the southern Velcroy Desert to get over there? Okay, we probably can't travel in combat. Oh, cool. Wish you luck, man. Yeah, I'm halfway decent at researching junk. Well, thank you for the good wishes. I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I've taken some practice tests for it. And there's a fair bit that I already knew or at least had a general idea of from what, I, from what I've seen in the practice test. Um, just from, you know, my, my past history um, in uh, software engineering and when I was in school and all of that BS. And the brief time that I spent as a professional uh, software engineer. So, like, I've come across a fair bit of it back then but one that was 12 years ago and uh two it was 12 years ago <laughs> so like <laughs> so there's a lot that i need to catch up on plus my when i went to school of course it was focused almost purely on software engineering with just like security fundamentals and stuff like that so uh there's certainly a lot that i didn't recognize at all Hey, two for two, my guy. Good job. Yeah, certified ethical hacker was the uh, is the other one that I'm looking into. That one was brought up because I'm working with somebody. Um, oh my god, the salamander. I'm working with somebody that's giving me like some pointers on kind of things that I should be working toward and whatnot to to get into the industry. And uh, those are some of the ones they recommended personally were CISSP as being like, you know, the gold standard of the one that they would suggest. And then certified ethical hacking was more of like a, a secondary thing. Um, and admittedly, I'd be really interested in a career as an ethical hacker, except for the fact that actually doing it as a job kind of sucks a lot of times, dude, because like, Consider for a moment what you would likely actually be doing. And, uh, like, it's not fun, <laughs> you know? Like, a lot of what you're gonna see from a day-to-day -day standpoint just, uh... Would weigh heavy on the soul. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's really what I want to do for a job for a career. But it'd still be a, a cool certification to get and a nice area of knowledge. It would pair well with uh, the, the sectors that I'm looking at, possibly getting into or trying to get into at least. This 
Yeah, and that's why, like, CISSP seems to be kind of the gold standard that she was talking about. Uh, because it, it does, it just carry covers such a breadth of knowledge compared to, like, other ones which tend to be a bit more specialized and whatnot. Yeah, from a personal standpoint, the certified ethical hacking one, I think, would be really fun. Just because that's something I've always been interested in. Even before I, I ever considered joining the security sector in any way. Um, ethical hacking. It's always been really interesting to me. You know? I love, uh, like, modding scenes and stuff like that. And learning more about how the people that actually make those mods possible, learning more about that whole process, I think would be really cool. And then just from working in the security sector, knowing how a lot of the hacking stuff works, obviously would be useful knowledge because you can apply that to mitigations that you may be suggesting or implementing or etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't want to fight you guys. No, don't start a fight with me, because then I have to kill you. Okay, I mean, it's not technically true. I could just run away, but... Mama don't run away from no fights, okay? You attack me, I'm going to murder you. Unless I've been hunting for a hunt for an hour, and then... <laughs> and then we pretend I never said that. into this boopy hole. So there's a village hidden away in here somewhere? Ooh, okay. This goes all over the place. Well, we're trying to get to the north. I've never done any of the chron chronoliths either. <laughs> I don't know if I really care to do the chronoliths, to be honest with you. Okay, so we've been through there already. That one's still closed. That one's still closed. Okay. Baklot. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Wait. So this connects to there? This must have been blocked off earlier, and I just forgot. So we could have... Man, we really could have saved a lot of time if we had just fast-traveled there instead, but... Since we're down here, though, we're gonna we're gonna make the trip. This map's kind of hard to read. I'm, looks like we can go this way, either direction, really. Is there gonna be anything down here, or should I just? Okay, well that answers that question. Hello, Scorpy boys. Wind down. I did not. Don't put words into my mouth. I mean, I will, but I did not say that. <laughs> nah, I don't mind doing it, love. Did you get it emptied for me? Ooh, some fallen stuff. Any, like, special chests or anything? From the fallen crap? Doesn't look like it, sadly. Hmm. Lame, dude. I mean, we could activate one of these things and fight them. But we could also... Just not. Like, that's also a choice. <laughs> I mean, if they don't want to come to life, then why fuck with them, right? No, that glowing thing over there is a trap. There's literally no point in picking it up. It's going to be useless, man. It is every single time. So we're just going to ignore it. If I said noodle, since you're the best and I love you, if you put dishes away and unload the dishwasher, I'll be the best for you and load it. <laughs> and that totally sounds like words, I would say. Yeah, I, I understand your confusion. You know, just reading that, I kind of thought I said it as well, dude. I don't... 
I don't know what I was thinking. I apologize. I kind of forget what the chronolists are. <laughs> I remember either Chocobo saying something to that or about them to us, or maybe when we first unlock them, reading something about it. But I think it's some sort of like, kind of like the uh, the thing that we have in our base with the virtual missions, basically. I think it's something along those lines. Hold on, this is a dead end. So is there anything over here? There's a chest. It's probably fucking useless, let's be honest. Oh, that's not the dodge button. <laughs> uh, you suck major balls. <laughs> No, you don't. I can't see a goddamn thing. We're just gonna tank it because I don't care. These things do hit hard, though, from what I remember. Like, probably shouldn't try to just tank it, but I think we'll be fine. We have exactly zero potions if we <laughs> if we kill ourselves. It's fine. <laughs> God, we're gonna die, dude. <laughs> this is so dumb. Why am I doing this? Okay, we're good. We're Gucci. Look at that, see? GG, too easy. Oh no! I can't open the chest because somehow I hit the things all the way up there. Bro, that's annoying. <laughs> How did they not realize that was a problem in testing? Like, that the range on the, the Phoenix Flame thing is so large that you can literally hit people on like the other side of the map. Can we interact with the chronolith? No. Bruh. Okay, how far away do we have to move to run away from this fight? Or if my party members just want to, like, teleport up there and deal with them, that'd be fine, too. Thank you. All I want's the chest, and I want to see what the chronolith thing is. I don't think we're going to actually do them. But I want to at least see if it's something I'm interested in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. 15 spools of steel silk. Spent all that time and effort for 15 spools of steel silk? Garbage. And a Dion. Okay, so what is this thing? This one's awake. Yeah. Chronolis are similar to the Areti stone. <laughs> That within them is hidden a virtual battlefield accessible by Clive and Clive alone. Each chronolith presents Clive with a timed trial in which he must combat continuous waves of deadly enemies equipped only with the feet and abilities of a single icon. Okay. Let's see what's we'll try inside. one. I'm assuming there's no, like, penalty for losing. Garuda, really? Do we get to pick, like, which abilities of Garuda we have? Or does the game pick that for us? It picks that for us. Buying time? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Wicked wheel and gouge. Deadly combo, deadly takedown, triple wheel, full gouge, punish, dodge. Huh, I'm not going to remember all this. 
Yeah, I don't think I care to complete these, dude. I don't even remember. I've already forgotten like what the things are that we need to <laughs> that we need to do, dude. How many stages of this are there? I guess that's another important question. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, there's more alive? I thought y'all were dead. I'm not gonna lie. Trial menu? Oh, we can see. Battle technique bonus. Triple wheel? What the fuck is triple wheel? Bro, maybe hit things? Oh my god, just hit something. You're a dick. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I hate when I dance between them like that. I mean, it's totally my fault. I could just lock on to a single enemy and do it that way, but... <laughs> For some reason, I don't know. I like dancing in between two enemies. Like, wait a second. Can we get this bonus forever? Ooh, hi. <laughs> Tank it, don't care. Divinity 2, nice too. Divinity Original Sin 2 or Divine Divinity or whatever the hell it was called, the, the second game in the series. Divine Divinity, very nice, dude. I quite like that one. Or no, wait. Divine Divinity is the one I haven't played yet. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> I've only played the first, like, 10, 15 minutes of it or something. I really haven't played much of it at all. Stage one complete. Do we get anything for it? Like, what's the what's the point of doing these? I guess is what I'm trying to ask. Okay. Well, there's a creepy portal for us to go through. Sure. Why not? Step through. It's fun. Yeah, I mean, I liked the first one. The first one was a little bit broken. And, uh, I don't know. Without, like, using some major cheese, <laughs> I probably never would have finished it. But other than that, I really enjoyed the first one. And Divinity Original Sin's a ton of fun as well. I just, I've never gotten around to beating it, though. Oh, you bastard. Wait, what happened to our combo? I don't like you, Mr. Avis, sir. When you played a good bit but never got to beat. Oh no, 30 seconds remaining. Correct. Ow. 50 seconds remaining. I'm assuming dying would be a bad thing here, but... 
Like, I just don't, I just don't care. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what the point of it is. I haven't heard anything about like rewards. Are we getting experience, ability points, anything? You're a dick. Is Vendy 2 multiplayer? Not that I have time to really play anything. I was just curious. only single player guy. I mean, I'm not surprised, but how oh, nice miss us. Kill me, please. Or is it better to run out of time? It might be better to run out of time. I don't think our last elixir will trigger in here, but I'd kind of be pissed if it did, though. expired oh well what uh what class are you thinking of playing man uh just leave <laughs> so, i uh in divinity one whatever the hell it was called i remember it was the uh ranger class specifically that was like broken for yeah pretty sure it was that been a while can't remember them all I tend to really like ranger type classes in that style of game, you know, like the old Diablo-esque games. Although if I remember Divinity 2, I think you actually get party members, don't you? Instead of just being by yourself the entire time. Still action RPG. Or like, real-time CRPG. Like Diablo. But with party members? Pretty sure that's how it worked in Divinity 2, Divine Divinity. Glad we went out of our way to get that fucking wire right or whatever it was. Like, never noticed any. Doesn't mean it was an option though, or wasn't an option though. I thought it was number two or divine divinity that let you, that let you do that, but I could be mistaken though. I know divinity original sin obviously has party members, so maybe I'm just mixing up the two games, but. I can't remember, man. It's been probably about four or five years since I've played the first one and then started nice the second one. Yeah, again, never got far, but did start the very beginning of it. Because I had originally planned on playing it shortly after playing the first one, but other things ended up getting played instead. Oh, there's more of them. These bastards never know when to stay down, dude. <laughs> Missed half our fucking punches. GG us. Get up here. What are you doing laying on the ground, my guy? <laughs> the hardest Pokemon game yet? What's the hardest Pokemon game? Over here. 
I'm talking about Pokemon Uranium or whatever the hell it's called. I don't I don't know what the hardest Pokemon game is. I'm not sure if you're talking about like official or including ROM hacks. Die, you bastard. Okay, jump. Thank you. the last of them oh <laughs> Thank you, Bryce. somehow i haven't seen that Walmart. joke but uh yeah <laughs> i can see why people would say that's the hardest one now i haven't tried pokemon sleep have you my watch does like what pokemon sleep does you know as far as like sleep tracking and shit goes so like i already know my sleep sucks <laughs> i don't need snorlax telling me that i suck at sleeping as well If I'm not mistaken, it's one of them things where you just like lay it in the bed next to you when you're sleeping, and then it just monitors how much movement there is at night. Maybe sound as well. I'm not sure if it does both or not. Doesn't work as well with memory foam mattresses, it, which is what Noodle and I use, or at least the similar apps that I've used in the past didn't work as well with memory foam. As it does like box springs. Because memory foam doesn't like deform as much the entire bed. As a, like a spring mattress would do. So it's harder to detect motion like on one side of the bed when you're on the other. Etc. I imagine. It would be less accurate when you live with a partner as well. Sleep with a partner. But I don't know. I don't know how much, like, software magic they've put into it to handle all those edge cases. Oh, leg eaters, man. I completely forgot about you guys. I haven't seen a leg eater in a while. Okay, well, we may have just killed some not too long ago, actually, but I didn't notice leg eaters for a while. Wait, what? Seriously? This doesn't go there? Well, whatever. We're gonna go up here. I feel like there's probably gonna end up being a hunt up here. So we might as well check out the area. Because you don't actually have to, like, see the hunt at the hunt board to do it. The hunt board just gives you, like, hints on where to look for the monsters. And you're dead. Yeah, do let us know how it goes, though, man. I hope uh, Snorlax helps you sleep a peaceful sleep every damn night. I'll be over here just dying in the meantime. Sleeping like shit. Cause that's what I do. <laughs> Bro, last night was so bad. It took me forever to get to sleep. And then I woke up like multiple times. It was just, it was not a good night's sleep for me at all. It doesn't help that I've just been like utterly exhausted, whether it's from the heat or just fatigue from work and shit. I don't know, but my God, dude, I'm just drained. Physically, emotionally drained AF. Really? No hunts over here? Must not be far enough in the story or something, man. Because there's no way they're going to have this big open-ass area right here and not have a hunt in it. I feel like this is where the secret hunt for Dalmechia is going to end up being. So we haven't done the Dalmechian secret hunt yet. And I'm guessing haven't even unlocked it yet. Technically slept 8 hours after being up for a little over 24. Hey! That's almost good. Now you just got to get that 24 down to 16. And then sleep your 8 hours and you'll be golden, my guy. Oh, 
I'll just talk about sleep. You're making me fucking tired though, y'all. Jesus. I'm not like more tired really, just like making me yawn more. Fell out around 8.30 a.m. finally and woke up around 3.40 or 4.30, one of the two. <laughs> My god, guy. You don't even know. You're just making shit up at this point. You don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Damn it, why do we have to walk through towns, dude? So much slower. Where, how, where and how? Okay, not here. This way. So it shows like a broken road here. Can we? No. No, because of this one little pile of junk that we should definitely be able to jump over, like, or just destroy. Like, bro, we're, we're clearly able to jump over this. Why the fuck can I not just... <laughs> Such trash, dude. It's so fucking dumb that I can't go up here. Whatever. Okay, we'll go. The, we'll go around. We'll go the way it wants us to go. <sighs> no, I. Uh, I finally passed out probably around five thirty and six. Between those two times, and then got up around twelve thirty. I didn't check my watch today to see like how I technically slept, but I feel like I slept like junk. And I know I woke up a few times throughout the night, so. Thankfully, I was able to go back to sleep relatively easily each time, though. That's usually my problem, is I'll wake up at, like, 9, 10 in the morning, and then just insomnia won't let me go back to sleep. That's how I usually get fucked. All this heat hasn't helped a goddamn thing, dude. My AC's been running on the lowest setting for the past like three days straight and uh i mean it hasn't stopped running once <laughs> because it just hasn't been able to get the temperature down that low it's kept it a comfortable temperature most of the time but like i have trouble sleeping if it's more than like 68 degrees man you know so like 70 72 that's perfectly fine for just chilling but for sleeping, mm, I can't do it. I start sweating and shit. It's not a fun time. It's just been so goddamn hot lately, though. Oh, we can just teleport back to Bakled. Okay, yeah. Just do that, dude. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Running all the way over there, shit. Something the matter, Theodore. Quiet. You be quiet, you dick. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Uh, are we you. buying some slaves? Doing negotiations? Is that why we gotta be quiet? How about I just tell this guy if he doesn't give us the slaves, I cut his throat. I mean... That's one way to negotiate, right? I think that'll deal with Him it. again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work All of the it. puppies have been There's murdered. Always. And the birds. Don't forget the birds. Murdered now. them too. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. You tried going to sleep at 3, couldn't. Once you hit 24, things become a blur sometimes. Oh, trust me, I know, man. <laughs> I used to be one of those people that would stay up for 24, 48, even did 72 once or twice. Well, I think I only technically did 72 once, but I got close to it a few times. Um, 
but yeah, no, not anymore, man. Fuck that. Least, like, it's just not worth just it. Cash <laughs> it wasn't really worth it when I was younger either, now. but, you know, dumb Thank kids you, and Clive. that. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. Let me fight them. shall emerge victorious in the end. I'll fight them all. Well, Kick their ass. If you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> I was gonna say. But thank you. <laughs> I don't sake. think she can. We're always globe trotting, man. I don't, I don't see how she can really find us, but. Usually when you got 24 or more anymore, it's just insomnia fucking with you. Yeah. I feel that. Ah, I'm glad I, to say I haven't done 24 in quite a while. The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmakia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But Wait, this was not are you guys not brother and sister? sister? Wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. Or she freed me were from you like bones. a bearer? And she must be freed from hers in turn. At birth or whatever. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor by letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Ah, uh, Theodore, no, you got I'm this, sure my guy. Still need some you just gotta have some belief in yourself. I trust that Why I is Spanish so boring? <laughs> I'll be honest you, with you, man. I think learning most well, languages isn't particularly fun. Back to work. Unless you're, like, aren't going to talking themselves. to a native speaker or something That's about something you enjoy, you know? Caravans. Like, working directly with somebody else, I think, could be fun learning a language. But just studying textbooks and shit like that? I don't know. ASL is fun? See, I, I don't know. I need to give ASL a chance one of these days. I say that all the time, but I really do. But I don't know if I'd find it fun, either. Do it. <laughs> oh, God. Someday. Someday. I will happily help you. <laughs> So one of these days, man, when I got a little bit of a time. Between streaming, work, and now studying for a couple tests, certifications here soon, I, uh, yeah, don't see much free time in my future. Considering going back to school, too, but if I go back to school, it'd be because work paid for it, and the last thing I want to do is leave work and then have to find the money to pay for it myself or drop out. Like, Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akash attacked. Well, now the rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now, I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all, but we ain't got nowhere for them to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. Not the chocobos. Here if I could. But where would I put them? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which put them down to the bottom. Or one of the People million abandoned the towns around here. Living like beggars. I see. And it isn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately. Coming from all over looking for safe haven. But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. 
If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. All right, so I get the point the game's trying to get across. Like, no we're helping to rebuild the world Thank now that we've guys. destroyed most of it. Uh, <laughs> like, you think you're <laughs> but, this new home? bro, this could have just been a short well, scene in between everything else. Worse than East Didn't need Pool. to be interactive. East Pool. It's been a long time since I thought about that place. Bro, we were just it there a couple tragedy. days ago. What happened? What do you and mean? If any it's of us could have done anything to stop God. it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have I have exciting news, by the way, that I forgot to share with everyone. My analog pocket that I ordered is supposed to be delivered sometime in August. Or at least shipped sometime in August. So whenever we finally get around to playing Pokemon Crystal here, we'll be able to do it, like, properly without the, the GameCube Game Boy player thing and whatnot, which will be cool. Would have sent someone to clear him out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending I'm off super the excited for it to be honest. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I've only listen to half of what you said, but let's go. East Pool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own, too. Why don't you go and talk to him? I don't need to go and talk to him. <laughs> I can just go murder them all, dude. Have you met me? I murder gods in my free time. I can deal I with a few bandits. I don't need Sir Wade. Just yet. Let's hear Wade's plan first. Plans, whatever. <laughs> Strategies. So, Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right, though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us, not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers, men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them, and I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you All beside right, us, let's we shall go. soon let's send go. that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That thankfully there aren't too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village, but if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very Fuck. <laughs> so long-winded. Let's go. The guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. It's fine. I kill gods. No I'm ready. I can handle a few bandits. Well, if you're sure, I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. All right. I'll meet you at Eastpool then. We shall see you there. And may victory await our coming. At least this map we already have, like, completely unlocked, so we should be able to just teleport over there and be done with it. Yeah. Nothing else new, right? I forgot about this area down here. It's still locked, though, so... Fuck it! Let's go! Let me clean my glasses, man. Ugh. Just notice how, like, streaky the light is. Are you guys ready to die? I'm your worst fucking nightmare, bros. Get fucked. Alright, where's the other ones? There's gonna be more that pops up. That's the end of that then. 
Oh, god damn it, one of these things? Bruh. <laughs> I don't like these things. These things are rude. I don't remember their attack pattern like at all either. We might end up dying. Ooh, scoops. Okay, give me a little bit more health again. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna have time. Uh, maybe. Okay, we got at least like one or two hits off before it. Oh shit, wrong. <laughs> wrong dude. <laughs> I'm trying to block. Oh shit, that breaks the block. Oh god. <laughs> I don't like you very much. Health, please. Nothing else. This is about to charge, maybe. Oh, good. He's dead. So, <laughs> no worries. Goodbye, two scoop. Two scoop, too many scoop. Too much sugar. Makes me sick. I'll take that as a no. Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. They I got hope this. so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. Nice to see the place fixed up a bit. People living here again. Home. Without masters. Hopefully they don't all get murdered again. <laughs> We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them. And not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy. Especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about Oscar, dude. Of course, I couldn't agree more. For being our squire, man, we really don't see him much, do we? If you need anything more, you have only to send a stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. Eastpool lives again. Let's go and tell Mom for the good news. Yeah, Optimus' plans are really going well, aren't they? Breaking everybody's spirits and shit, like. Bruh. Get fucked. Nobody nobody gives a shit. Shit was bad for a couple days. Oh no. Hello, Martha. Ah, there you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. 
Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape shifting nightmare showing up? Ah, it's nothing. It's like the third one I've killed. Maybe fourth. What matters is you did it, and now we can build our new village. I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did Wade say that? Can we not? Well, something along <laughs> those lines. Can we not anyway, just, you know, toss out the it to baby pool, with the bathwater? Yeah. Like... So the way I see it, neither is mine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Uh, you, why is that even a saying? No, that used to be a you. problem. Did people forget you their babies in the bath us. when they were thrown out the water or something? Do. I don't... <laughs> what? I mean... Oh, God, dude. I mean, people forget their children in the car somehow, so, like, I guess, I guess it's not unbelievable. All right, one more. I think and hope it's only one more. <laughs> to Lost Wing! I'm assuming it's going to be the same shit, dude. People need somewhere to go. Can you help us? I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. You know what you have to do. Oh, well. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that... Though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, and I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found, and it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lost Wing? Everything you've built. I built Lost Wing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. Hmm. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children, the elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lost Wing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway? That they might live even should Lostwing die. Uh, yeah? I will. Why the fuck wouldn't Thank I, dude? You. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. Okay! So a little different, I guess. These ones aren't getting a new home. They're coming to my home. Can we teleport there? Uh, it's about the same distance, then, I guess. Mother. We are awaited in Gotan's bales. Interesting. That Joshua had voice lines for this quest. Can't say I expected that. I mean, I guess it makes sense. A lot of people probably do these quests as soon as they open up. But I thought, like, as soon as we got to Canver, Josh would go his own way or something, so maybe he wouldn't have anything to say here. Can we jump up, please? Thank you. Hello, people. Everyone. 
Winton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see Couldn't we just help him with his fight? <laughs> like we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster! They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die! No. We can't let this happen. Sorry, it's not something to laugh at, but like, bro, come on. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right, I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? It's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven Hall, he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Oh. Promise us you'll do what you Haven't we can. been to Heaven Hall before? Isn't that like one of the places just tucked away back in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, it's right here. Next to the croc. Okay. Um, I guess the dragon airy would be the closest one. It's where I thought the fight with the dragon might be, but it wasn't. I remember this path all too well, dude. We've walked it many a time. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a potion! Nice! I don't know when we pick that up, but I gladly accept. We could use a couple more, to be honest. If the game would be so kind. Fallen bugs. Can we make our way around them, maybe, without pissing them off? Yeah, let's go. Oh, probably not the raptors, though, eh? Aw, oh, you bastards. I hate creatures that don't get stuck <laughs> to my flame thing. Wait, what? That was a deadly takedown? Oh, I didn't even know we could deadly take down things that didn't have a stagger gauge. That's interesting. Oh no, there's chocobos here. That means they're probably already in here fighting. Clive, look. No, don't tell me we're too late. Mm, it's not looking good. <laughs> There's a lot of dead bodies back there and up here. Oh, Quentin's still Quentin, alive. Are you all right? Somehow. No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died for nothing. Ooh, a coral? This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. 
Come on, then. Doesn't look like much of a fighter, man. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if him going after whoever he's going after is really the best uh, best idea. Oh. I can't really see what you're doing. amount of damage 37 and a half I'll take it come on just go down good boy and stagger And dead. <laughs> Bro, that was nothing, dude. <laughs> that little puppy is what you let destroy your entire militia. If only we'd arrived earlier. Maybe you should have asked us for help with the fighting instead of asking us to get people out of here. And then he could have just kept his town and that is whatever. <laughs> it over this is he wept and begged for mercy and i cut him from ear to ear god damn quentin you kind of dark bro all these years bro chill <laughs> building a haven Jesus in Christ. Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause it was all for this but what is this Justice. Now this is murder. My faithful comrades. All those lives lost. So that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton. Oh, thank Grieka, you're safe. You. You're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I. I tried to warn you about that, that thing. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I hate to say it, but there's more bad news. Isn't it's there lost. always? It's been flooded. What? Oh my god, Noodle. <laughs> love you. Flooded with ether? Yeah, I figured from the blue glow. How? Lost twin. My lost twin. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool. Bro, you're gonna get. gonna turn a Kashik yourself, you dumbass. Damn it. Victor's not going to last long in there. Then we finish this quickly. Sick of and. Oh, ah, we didn't pick him up. Guessing because portal. Bro, why are they so far away though? <laughs> More? Oh wait, did I forget one? No. Oh, we gotta go down here. <laughs> My bad. Oh, 
bro. I just died. <laughs> Anymore? Of course. Hold on. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, no cure. Son of a bitch. Who's curing? You. Is he dead? Okay. Can't have none of that cure shit going on, dude. Oh, fucking Acacia, man. Is the final boss going to be Quentin? <laughs> Are we going to have to kill him now? I need to get back to Quentin. 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 Look at me. Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. I still don't quite understand why the floods are happening. I mean, obviously it's something to do with Ultima and probably with the rains, but like... Like, what were the chances of it happening right then and there? It seems like it was planned almost. So was that Ultima's doing as well, or did it really just be happenstance? Coincidence? I don't... I don't know, man. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lost Wing... The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinn. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But... I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't. Very so touching. Can we, can we wrap it up, please? But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. No. What about Hideaway? Why not just go back to the Hideaway? Um, whatever. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. Ooh, there you What's go. to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please, I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Nah, okay. Glad that's all dealt with. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it never ends. Fuck. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. 
A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. I gotta say, I don't think he's got shit left. Isn't it all down there in the valley, which is now flooded with either? I mean, we can go down there. That would be fine. But I don't think he's going to be running down there to pick up his finest reds any uh, anytime soon. All right, is that all of them now? Side quest complete? Thank fuck, dude. I'm going to go grab our uh, Renown reward, because I'm pretty sure we have one or two at this point. And then we're going to start the next main mission, and then that's probably going to have to be it, man. Because, <laughs> like... God, we got new missives and shit. Okay, we'll check out that shit, too. Oh, there are some new hunts. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. And we're not going to, like, hunt down the hunts right now, but I'd still like to see what they are. Is it the, the final secret hunt, maybe? No, okay. It's in, Oh, it's in Lost Wing. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, if it's in Lost Wing... <laughs> I guess we could go and do that real quick. You're not the one I wanted to talk to. Always something in there. Help you today, Clive. Your benefactors are a generous lot. A gift, talisman of priming. You What's that this. do? Best of luck out there, Sid. What equipment, right? Increases Lionheart tonic duration by thirty seconds. Garbage. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, thanks, I guess. Uh, let's check our missives, our letters. Are you horny for anyone new yet? Yeah, okay. No, you're still. Still just horny for, uh, what's his name? Oh, no, this is. Wait. Where am I trying to go? Clive's Chambers. Fuck. Completely the wrong direction, dude. Are oh, you really trying to get them big eyes, aren't you? Nope. <laughs> Still cute, though. I think the, the pattern in the, the eyes Bo's got's pretty cute right now, man. I don't think you need the big eyes. Alright, are they just thank you letters? I'm guessing they're just thank you letters. Yeah, just thank you letters. Okay. Starting over. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You like the polka dots? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's cute. I don't know how we're missing so many of these, considering we've done, like, everything we've had the opportunity to do. I mean, maybe, like, the chronoliths would give us some, because we haven't really done the, the chronoliths at all. Now, how much of this area is considered Lost Wing? Right? New alert. What? Well, that's weird. Why wasn't it scrolling up on its own? There we go. Uh, I'm guessing down here. It's the only boss-like arena, but that's like through the Cellar's Passage. That would be weird. I'm going to check it, though. If I can remember how the fuck to get there. Is it in here? No. This way. Up the stairs. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I roughly remember now, I think. Through here. Into here. There was something there. I don't know if that was new or not. That's not new. We've seen that before. 
Legally change your name to Subway and you can get free subs for life. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Where did that come from? <clears throat> did you like see something about that somewhere or something? I mean, I'm willing to live off a of Subway if it means free food for the rest of my life. Like, I would change my name to Subway. I'm fine with that, dude. If any restaurant out there that has food that I even half enjoy wants me to change my name for free food for life, dude, 100%, I'm on it. I don't need no convincing. Holy Trumpeter. Wait. Is that the man in black or whatever? The holy trumpeter? Ow. Ow. I can't see shit. <laughs> oh god, dude. I missed Community. I was actually just talking about Community the other day. I kind of want to rewatch it again. Not gonna lie. Does he do this? Is that it? Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> Just go down, you dick. No, ah, oh, you bastard. I thought I could get him into that. Actually need to be somewhat safe now. So we are running out of health. I mean we have that last elixir, like we would be fine, but it would still be super annoying to die. Sometimes the stagger gauge I feel like cheats, dude. <laughs> like, like, they should be staggered and they're just not. Uh, no? Oh, you dick. I can't see shit. I really don't want to die right now. He's so close to dying. Don't fucking die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We were so close, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought we were dead there at the end. Scarlet Titan Meteorite. Meh. Your work here is done. Meh. Alright, well, that was that then.
I'm assuming that was the Lost Wing Hunt. I didn't see any other ones on the board. So, finally story shit. Let's go. Not much, because we're out of time, but we can at least start it. Oh shit, as soon as we teleported here, we didn't even like walk in or anything. It's just instantly mission. Okay. Or not mission, but whatever. Sounds like thunder. There's people! They're alive! Oh shit, I don't have a drink. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. Sorry, I had a bunch of side quests to do to instead of worrying you. about your ass. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most at time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. <laughs> the <Hey>. fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joshua. <laughs> Somebody's simping, dude. <laughs> My. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Bruh, I like Byron. I'm glad he hasn't died. I hope he doesn't. I feel like he will, but I, I hope he doesn't die. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the Merchant's District to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Aren't we supposed to be protecting him? Mind keeping an eye on my brother? His shield and all. Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> the fuck, gutter snipe? Bruh. <laughs> can I say that? Shall can you say that? Gutter snipe? That's. <laughs> That sounds like you I don't know, man. Safe. Be careful, both of you. You too. Hey, okay. So we got our goal: free the city's peoples, which we will be working on next time. Oh, I'm surprised we're allowed to leave. Seeing as how, like, we don't have a map here or anything, I thought this was going to be, like, the dungeons, you know, whenever we're doing the crystals and shit. And we would just kind of be stuck here, but no, apparently we can go wherever the hell we want.
But oh well, that's for next time. Thank you guys. I do appreciate everybody that came out and hung out with me a little bit tonight while we played some more Final Fantasy 16. As we're nearing the end. Uh, what is today? Friday. Yeah, because we took Thursday off. That's why it feels weird. So we'll be back Sunday to play some more. Hopefully finishing up either Sunday or Monday so we can get back on track with everything else. Oh, also... Noodle and I will be going on vacation in about two weeks. Um, I don't know the exact days that I won't be streaming, but I know there probably will be five days-ish that there won't be any streams. I'm trying to time it more or less up with like the, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that I don't usually stream anyways. Um, so we don't disrupt it too much, but we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. I'll keep you guys posted as I know more for sure. But in the meantime, guys, thank you again. I appreciate you all, and uh, have a good night. Be kind to each other, and yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it'll be noodle time. Exactly. It's noodle time. <laughs> have a good night, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.